Science Review, Heat Unit. In the last video, we talked about the alcohol thermometer, commonly used in most science labs to measure temperature, the average kinetic energy, the average speed of the particles in the matter. Originally, scientists started off with a variety of different measuring devices for temperature. One of the earliest ones was an air thermometer. You can imagine by its name that in this thermometer it's the air that's responding to temperature changes as opposed to the red alcohol that we saw in the alcohol thermometer. If we were to make and then draw it, it would look something like this. You might start with a base plate. This black solid metal has a hole in it and a place for a ring stand to, to fit in. In my drawing, I would draw a rectangle on the bottom and I would label it base plate. The next thing for the assembly would be a ring stand. Place the ring stand in the base plate, secure it tightly, represent it in the drawing by placing another rectangle extending from the base plate to the top. The next thing that you're going to need is a reservoir filled with water. To make it more visible to the naked eye, to the regular observer, you might add a colored dye. In this case, I am adding a blue dye to the water. Eventually, the solute will dissolve into solvent, producing a homogeneous solution. The next part for the thermometer is going to involve a clamp. I'll place the clamp on the ring stand, secure it tightly for now. It may need to be adjusted. And I'm going to go back to my drawing. To draw a beaker, draw an oval, draw an oval, draw in the sides, and to indicate a water level, simply a wavy line will do. Remember also that we included a clamp, so we will add a clamp at approximately that height. So, so far we have the base plate, the ring stand, a clamp, a beaker filled with water that's been colored with dye. The next element that we need to have is a flask. This will be the container for the air for our air thermometer. Now, there are two other parts that we're going to assemble now. Normally, we would use a stopper and put it inside the flask and insert a glass tube. I do not have a glass tube that's going to fit properly here, so I'm going to improvise. We're going to use everyday Play-Doh. We'll push that in gently, always handling the glass carefully. I'm going to insert the glass tube until it goes all the way through. Make sure that there's no leaks. We will secure it with the clamp. Again, being careful when handling with glass. Tightening that up. Adjusting the height so the glass tube is inserted into the water. Adding these items to the drawing, we have a flask with an open end here. With the neck of the flask, the ball part of the flask, the Play-Doh to be shaded in, and last but not least, a two. These would be the key elements of an air thermometer. Remember that arrows can be very effective at indicating which part is being labeled there. So one more time, air thermometer, we have a base plate, the ring stand, a clamp, we have a beaker with colored water in it, we have a clamp, we have a flask that's inverted, that's upside down, sealed with Play-Doh or a stopper, and the last part is a tube. If I apply a heat source, in this case a hair dryer, and give enough time, it will heat up the air, pushing the air particles apart, pushing the water down. If I then apply ice cold ray, to the top, the air particles will get closer again together, they'll move slower, and it will respond to the different temperature changes. The air thermometer. 